Okay, so for Night Sword, let's take a look at the quick guide. Pretty sure like the red berry pie and stuff can all be made very easily, but I need a little bit of cooking level. So I need to see what level I need for that. 10 cooking. Okay, that's fine. We have enough. Oh, we're seven. Oof. Yo, 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 yo. Let's go find some food to cook. I think I have something in the bank. Well, I can't. I need to do cook's assistant to be able to use this stupid thing. Yeah, sod off, mate. I'm not doing your quest. I'm going to Tavali. Well, they actually are welcoming. Stop burning the crayfish, dude. Uh, how does a rabbit turn into this when it burns? Because it's meat. But what about chicken? Chicken's also meat. But it's a burnt chicken. Level 10 for the quest, though. Easy clap. I'm going to burn like seven red berry pies, so I'm going to have to buy extra needed for it. But we're good. This man, Beefy Bill. He does indeed sell red berries. So I'll buy five of those. And this one, we have an uncooked red berry pie. Honestly, I'm going to need a few of them. I think I'm going to burn it. Now we are done with these. And we can go and try and cook these bad boys. All right. Good luck, us. Let's see if we can get it. Nice. I cooked the first one. Now we need iron. Is that iron in the burr foot? All right, we got the iron bars. We're good to go. So what we'll do is we'll head to the quick guide. We need to speak to the squire in White Knight's Castle. Uh, we'll go ahead over to Rodo at Varric Palace. You just noticed the fancy boots, a man of culture? Of course, dude. It's a shame that the Batwing covers them, right? Yeah. All right, so now we need to speak to the squire and get the pitcher, and then we can go again. Then we go back up and give him the materials, and we're done. Hey, a blue right sword. Let's go. Quest done. Thank you very much. Knight sword done. One quest point only, which is a little bit of a shame, but 12,700 Smith and XP to put in. Getting us to level 30. Nearly level 31. You love to see it. We need to do buyers and sellers, which gives us... A little tiny bit of thieving XP. And that will take us maybe to like 10. And then we'll have to actually do some thieving. Yeah, the, the baker's stall definitely is the place. So I'm probably going to do baker's stall till we're just about to hit 15. Then do the quest. Get access. Do the doors to 25. Wait. How am I 19 thieving? Well, that's easy. Yo, Darren, my man. So I, I do kind of want to go to 90 Thieving to unlock the ports as soon as possible. And I know that sounds really bad, chat. I just said I want to unlock ports. I understand. But on an Iron Man, it's actually important. Get it? Important. Go to Father Early's house in Lumbridge Swamp. Don't mind me. I'm just topping down the tree outside your house. Give me one sec. All right, so we speak to Darren and we say we did it. Now, let me in. Open up the door, please. Not mine, apparently. Jake's. Uh, buyers and sellers is done. I accidentally completely clicked out of that one. Oopsie. But we've unlocked the uh, Thieving Guild with the Caper Quest, which also gave us 500 XP and level 20 Thieving. What we're going to do is we need to get 25 Thieving. 25 Thieving coming in. That allows us to go ahead and do... The dig site. The dig site is absolutely nuts because it gives you 15,000 mining XP. And because we did, uh, you know, the knight sword for smithing XP, it means that we could go ahead and do dig site for mining XP and not worry about it because then our mining and smithing are still going to be fairly close to one another and I'm not going to fall behind on any. Need to go to the archaeology guild and speak to Seth Minus. All right, so there should be a cup of tea on the table somewhere. It said there was a cup of tea. Grab a cup of tea from the desk southwest of the acting guild master. So am I am I dumb? Where where is this? One eternity later. So Grab a cup of tea from the desk southwest of the acting guildmaster. There's chests here, but there's no tea that I can get from it. Oh, 
What the? Ah, uh, we did it. I need to find a special cup. Jake, are you panning with me? I found the cup straight away. Yo, stream of luck. And now let's return to the examiner. She'll demand an opal. Man, one of the students is so entitled. The others just give you the information. But good old Katarina needs an opal. All right, so we need to dig here in order to get the ancient talisman. Yay, we finally got the talisman. We need to go speak to Terry in the exam center. Yo, Terry! Go back to the first winch operator and climb down the winch. Use the key on the chest in the east room. Search it. I have ammonium. Right, we're about to do some science. Chemical compound. Dig site is done. 15,300 mining XP. 2,000 herb lore. So, that takes us to 32 mining, dude. Now we're going to go to Elemental Workshop because I hate my life. It needs one thread, one soft leather, and four coal. Now let's go to the base camp and upgrade our base camp. That's true. We should do that. Right. Come here, Mr. Giles. Yo, I'm 40 away. Uh, we have a cash in 10 minutes. What was I going to do while waiting? I can't even remember at this point. Should we train some fletching? Let's go ahead and train some fletching, dude. Four fletching while waiting for the cash, dude. Yo, four divination levels. 36 div. I didn't quite get 100%. Let's go and do elemental workshop now, though. Let's get it go. Oh, anachronia upgrades. Thank you. Did I build it? Oh, I didn't. Thank you. Man, I, I see there's so much to do. I always just get sidetracked constantly. There is storehouse level one, so we can have 25,000 resources now. But that also unlocks this for us. This is what we need. So we need to go and get 10,000 wood, leaves, and hides, which then gives us 15 workers. But then we need to go and get it to level two for 30, and then tier three for 60. Accept the quest. Fix the bellows. All right, we need to make an elemental shield on the anvil, right? And elemental workshop number one. Dunzo, 5,000 crafting, 5,000 smithing. Not bad whatsoever. Uh, so that gets us to 26 crafting from 20. And that gave us three smithing levels as well. That's actually really big. So now I guess elemental workshop two. Accept. Okay, so we got the odd looking book. Read the scroll inside the beaten book. Two north, one, two. Two east, one, two. Two north, one, two. East. Ten north. Yo, why did they tell me to, to do that? Why couldn't they have just said, go to the north room and search the machinery? You need to do it? Oh, do you actually? Ah. Right, we need to make the furnace. Elemental bars, please. Down we go. Oh, we got to repair the workshop. I remember this. Oh, this takes a while. Okay, we got the elemental bar on it. Raise the crane. Up you go. Are we making an alloy bar thing? I'm going to be right back while I sleep. Search all the crates on both the upper and lower levels of the workshop to find three cogs and a pipe. I needed three cogs and a pipe. So hopefully I can get the pipe here. There we go. We got the pipe. Okay. This quest is one of those ones where it's just like... It takes so long to do anything because it's just not efficient. Go to the east door. Place the bar on the extractor gun. And there is Elemental Workshop 2 with 7,500 crafting and smithing XP, taking us to 32 crafting and 36 smithing. Damn, that's actually giving us a big head start towards invention. I know invention is level 80, which is quite far away, but getting that XP is actually pretty pog. Nice. Another couple of quest points as well. We're at 68, one away from the nice number. So we'll do Death Plateau. Hey, I got more rabbit sandwiches, pog you. Oh, I love his voice. What the hell? Yo. Map. 
Hello? Yo. Alright, so we got one quest point, three reward lamps of 100 XP each, and we get the repeatable delivery task from Denluf, or whatever his name is. So, the reason why this quest is good, one, it takes us to 69 quest points, and then in addition to that, we can help them continuously deliver. So, if we put this into probably summoning, because our summoning is pretty low, it'll benefit the most from this XP. Then we'll do the delivery and put the repeatable XP into summoning, and we'll get like 12 summoning or something. So that'll be a quite nice little kickstart to that. Does you need any more help? Take the supplies. We go through there, and literally, done. All right, ambush commander, mate. I have some supplies. All right, so now we get to the reward lamps again that we can put 180 XP per lamp into summoning. We can do this five times. So there we go. We're level nine summoning already. So it might even be more than 12 summoning from this. But we got this to do four more times. And just level, 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 level. All right, three more lamps. What level is that? That is 12 already. And I have three more trips. Oh, this is going to be big XP. Let's go. 14 summoning. Easy clap. Two more to go. Chuck those in there. Chuck those in there. And that in there. And that is level 15. So I think we could probably get to 17. Because we're 10 XP away from 16. All right. So we get our last three lamps, which is a cheeky summoning. A cheeky summoning. And a cheeky summoning. So we are at 17. We did manage to get to 17 summoning. Which means we can now do, go and do Troll Stronghold once we hit 30 Thieving. So we need to go back to do Thieving Guild's doors to then go do Troll Stronghold. All right, this is the last door we need for level 30. So there's 30 Thieving, which unlocks the Troll Stronghold. So we'll go ahead and do Troll Stronghold. Get that done for 20k XP on any skill level 30 or higher. Let's go straight into Herblore. Right, we need to kill Dad, dude. Let's not die. All right, hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. Trolls being named after what they eat. The first thing this guy ate was his own father. So I don't feel bad eating him, honestly. Okay, so we need to pickpocket. Oh. Apparently, he didn't like me picking his pocket. So now he has to die. All right, and then we literally just speak to Dunstan and we're done. Wow, that was so easy. We got one quest point, which... Unfortunately, it does ruin our 69 quest points, but we got two XP lamps with 10k each. And this also gives us access to Gorwa's Dungeon, and that then gives us access to Edgar's Ruse. That is a very good quest to get done. Gives 11k Herblore, which we'll be doing as well. These two 10k lamps go into Herblore, and that takes us to a cheeky 42. Lovely. Man, my Herblore level rocketing is nearly my highest level. The only thing that's higher than my herb lore now is my room crafting. Because we AFK'd that for Vizwax. That's crazy. Guys,